Let's start to talk about, in particular, the, uh, the rapid RH probe and why relative humidity has some very specific advantages over other test methods. First of all, it's very fast. We can um, obtain measurements in a matter of minutes, certainly within hours, as opposed to the three days that are required with the calcium chloride kits. Uh, it's reliable. Uh, relative humidity probes are calibrated, absolutely accurate, traceable to national standards. Uh, so you have a, a sense of the absolute accuracy and reliability of the method. It's uh, inexpensive. There's a little bit amount of labor involved. The tests can be done very quickly. They're easy to use. Um, when the probes come from the manufacturer, they come calibrated, and there are no recalibration issues, which we'll talk about some more in a minute. So first of all, uh, how fast is fast? Uh, this graph indicates the results um, we made with uh, several different brands of relative humidity probes, all meeting ASTM F2170. On the vertical left-hand axis of the graph, we see the percentage of the final reading with the probe. And that is, we put probes into the concrete, and it took um, so many minutes or hours for them to eventually come to a final reading. We did this over the course of uh, up to three days. And this vertical axis shows the percentage of that final reading. Uh, across the bottom, the uh, graph is logarithmic. It shows a scale in time, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30, uh, 40 minutes, one hour, and so on, up to 72 hours. Um, the large blue dots on the blue line indicates the results from the rapid RH probe. And you can see that even after 10 or 20 minutes, uh, it was reading 95, 98% of its final answer um, just within the first 20 minutes or so. All of the probes, by the time we got out to around uh, four hours or, or so, were all reading 95% of their final value. So the relative humidity technique as a method can get you very close to the final answer um, within a few hours. Uh, clearly, by 24 hours, all the different brands of probes were reading essentially the same, and there was no change over the next three days. So that what we found is relative humidity probes can give us roughly the final answer in, um, in a very short period of time, uh, and they equilibrate clearly within, uh, within a day. Um, so how does this help us? Well, it turns out that if a floor is very wet, let's say 95% relative humidity, you can put one of the probes in, and within a matter of minutes, it'll be reading very high. You'll know that the floor is wet. You get your answer very quickly. If you put a probe in and it's reading very close to your decision point, let's say 85% or 80% humidity, uh, if that's the manufacturer's specification, you may want to leave it in uh, for a few hours or even overnight uh, before you have a sense of the reliability in the answer. Now, currently the ASTM F2170 procedure does require the test be reported at 72 hours. But you can make a decision uh, based on getting a, a quick answer. What we have found, for example, is that if you put the probe in and it reads 95% humidity in the first 15, 20 minutes, it doesn't come back down. Uh, it only goes up and it'll be going up higher. And, and the opposite is also true. If the probe goes down and you get an answer below your decision point, let's say you're looking for a decision around 80% humidity. If you put the probe in and after an hour it's gone down to 70%, uh, you can have confidence that it's not going to come back up again. We don't see the, the probes going up and down in results. They simply tend towards the final answer. So if it's past your decision point and you know the floor is wet because it's going up, you've got your answer very quickly and you can make your decision as to what to do with the floor at that point. Keep in mind though the ASTM F2170 standard still requires official reporting after 72 hours of reading. 